zero blue I can do for 10,500. <laughs> Serious issue going on with this watch. You're probably going to get a thousand pounds or more for that one. Oh, all right, just send me some photos. And probably up to 2,000 pounds more with that one. So that was a customer that inquired about this watch because it was his birth year, 1994. So we'll have a brand new root beer in rose gold. That's going to a client in Italy. FXD. 2022 white gold Daytona Oyster Flex. Yeah, so she's flew in all the way from Dubai. This sold for 10750. Can you pipe the Snoopy on the dial? There he is, Snoop Dogg. Boom! <laughs> Say the watch job's quiet, Harry, everybody's saying. Oh, things aren't selling, people aren't buying. Well, I think it looks, I can't even pick them up. I think it looks like we're buying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to open up the day. All new watches coming in stock. We'll open them up, we'll have a look what we've got. And then we'll get them all online. Because what we do here is we buy watches and we sell watches. Is that right, Josh? It was top sales from last month, Josh. Not even a question. Was it me? <laughs> it wasn't you, mate. Was it not me? It wasn't you. What we got here? Wow. Cartier. Yeah. So, that is a Cartier, Cartier tank. Oh, a solo, is it? Sorry, tank. it's a Cartier tank 2017. Rhodium so, Datus 126 300. This must be the one that they're ranting and raving about, is it, John? How it goes. FXD. FXD. Oh, 2022. Yeah, they've been flying out those ones. Brand new 2022 FXD. Bill, put that down. That's mine. Line them all up. Black Tudor Chrono. Hey, come with a giveaway present. <laughs> How do you like your eggs in the morning? <laughs> I like wine fertilised. <laughs> like Christmas, isn't it? It is, every day. Boom. Oh, I love it. OP, OP41, silver dial. Different though, because this has got the gold hands. These have the gold hands. A bit more of a vintage touch. Yeah. Looks older than what it is. It's actually 2022, that. That'll be going online. Brand Ooh. new. Let me have a look at them all. Snoopy yeah, that looks like brand new. Did you buy the... Fresh, 2022. 15. Great starter wash. Great entry level wash, that. Definitely. Snoopy. All right, well, I haven't seen Snoopy one of these in a while. Snoopy dog. Is that yours? Actually, it's Billy. Oh, that's a give a volley of steel down to Billy. That's a Snoopy, brand new, 2022. Is that a tap in for you, Bill? Spy Snoopy. I don't know why I've been flying recently. Can you pipe the Snoopy on the dial? There he is, Snoop Dog. They just bought it one chocolate steel and rose. What do you think of that, Harry? Good value for me. I think it's really cool. I think yeah. it's really nice. They've got different com combinations on the, on the color. But that one's particularly rare. Yeah. It's very hard to get that it one. It is, yeah, lovely watch. Have you got a client for it, Bill, or is that I just for a stock? I don't, I don't, but it'll be online. I mean, give it two days, it's brand new, so it'll be online. We it's buy watches awesome. here from over 300, as you can see, to watches like this. So we'll go from 300 odd grand to a little, a little Brightland for about a grand. 300, one. 300, one. We don't care. <laughs> what would you rather have? 300 Brightlands or one Rich Hidden? Me personally, I'd rather have 300 Brightlands. 300 Brightlands? <laughs> 300 <laughs> Brightlands will earn us more than a Richard Mill. Yeah. What would you rather have? RM. You <laughs> should have 300 Brightlands so you get the deals. Keep looking at our website. We get fresh watches every day. Everything changes every day. It's actually me. No, it is actually me. Uh, there's not actually a date on it. It's just 05 slash 94. So it's just May 1994. Oh, alright, just send me some photos. Yeah, I'm gonna send you some photos. Alright, go ahead, make sure okay. no one takes it. I won't, mate. See you later, mate. Bye bye. So that was a customer that inquired about this watch because it was his birth year, 1994. And I made a joke to say that it was actually dated May, which is his birthday. I've pulled out the papers and it is actually May dated, so that's he's going a little bit. There. Yeah, pretty much. You couldn't get a better watch for himself or obviously birth year, birth month, so. He's going crazy at the minute, so I'm going to just send him some more photos and hopefully do a deal. Oh, that's crazy, that. I cannot believe the energy of that, like. First one's a Hublot. Classic fusion, isn't it? Yep, in rose gold, which is unusual. Yeah, you normally see them in steel. Same again. Chrono version in steel. I think they're clean-looking watches. They are. 
They're different enough as well to have them both. Can you remember what you paid for them? 10750 I think it was. For that. So would you consider a consignment sale or are you looking to sell them straight away? What's a consignment sale? Basically we sell the watches on your behalf and when they sell your paid, you're mm -hmm. probably going to get £1,000 more for that one, let me do that, and probably up to £2,000 more with that one. Okay. It's an option, obviously if your circumstances dictate that you want the money for yeah. something straight away then it, it wouldn't work, but we sell 150 watches a month here mm -hmm. and uh, most things will sell as long as they're priced and well advertised mm -hmm. and photographed correctly and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really up to you. And, and what would be the price? I think if we were buying that, we would pay like 4000 If you wanted us to sell it for you, um, you're probably going to get about, I don't know, maybe 13 14% more. So like four seven fifty. With this one, I think this one, although I think it's a nicer watch, it's probably more difficult to sell. And what was their valuation on there for that one? 12.4. Yeah, well, that's it again. They're listed on there mm -hmm. from, there's a one there for 11,000. So I think if we're buying it, we would pay like 8,000. Bear in mind, there's, there's 700 pounds worth of fees for the one that's 11,000. That's for what you can mm -hmm. buy them for. And if you wanted us to sell it for you, we could look to return you like nine, nine and a half thousand. Mm -hmm. And how long does, does it take to sell these things? You know what, it's just no idea. I guess. It, it's, yeah, there's, it's not an exact science, but I think as long as it's the cheapest on Chrono, mm -hmm. as long as we keep them well advertised, um, I would probably suggest that we get that one polished as well so it's as good as new because it's rose gold, it scratches a little bit easier than the steel one. So it'll be mint, the rubber straps in uh, mint condition anyway so it'll take very little to have them as good as new mm -hmm. and we, we typically say 30 days with consignment obviously it can be a lot quicker mm -hmm. I think with with a Rolex I'll, I'll know that it's going to sell in yeah. two three four weeks I think that most hublots we we take on consignment will sell within six to eight weeks as a maximum okay. but obviously they can sell a lot quicker and obviously if for example you want to sell them at any time, we're happy to buy them. If you want me to amend the, the cost to sell them quicker so you get more on consignment, we can do that. Mm -hmm. So it's open-ended and we're flexible, but we've, we sell we sell all brands. The good thing about these watches is what they originally cost and what we will be selling them for is a lot less. So it's a significant discount to somebody that's wanted one of those models and maybe didn't want to pay the full price mm -hmm. when they were new. Yeah, well, consignment would be the way to go then. It is, it is. With yeah. with some Rolexes I know that are going to sell in a week, it's maybe £500 difference, but with something like this, um, it's a better option. Mm -hmm. And when it runs into thousands, I think it's worth doing. Unless you needed the money tomorrow, do you know what I mean? So, have you got a driving licence with you, please? Here's one, Harry. Bet you've never seen something like this before. Richard Mill, RM1103, Rose and Titanium. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> serious issue going on with this watch. Yeah, I take it the customer didn't customise it like that. No, he, that wasn't a request. He didn't. So, it's a watch that we've sold. It's had a little bit of a problem with it. Had a little accident, I presume. I'll tell you what, guys. Why don't you drop us a comment and guess how much the repair is going to be for this watch? Yeah, what is the price of that watch? Right now, market value. Market value of this particular watch is around, in dollars, around $400,000. So it's gonna be an expensive repair. The winder has fully came off, detached from the watch. Damn. Is it the stores you can't, you can't like look at Yeah, them? exactly. Well, they do so exhibition, really... they have exhibition pieces, but. Right. Yeah, so I that's do. azuro blue, this is the normal blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is slightly darker, whereas, and obviously it's got the plain pipe. Is that the newer one, or is that, am I wrong in saying that? No, so they've both been out the same amount of time. Then this is the lighter blue, which has mm -hmm. got obviously the Roman numerals. Mm -hmm. So it's slightly different than mm -hmm. White Dial, Rhodium, Wimbledon. I like the lighter blue better. I like the Wimbledon dial right, but I like it much better on the two-tone, on the... Steel and yellow gold, high. the steel and rose gold. We we'll have a steel and rose, we don't have a steel and yellow gold. The steel, like, mm. and yeah, I think like this, the stands out so much nicer with nicer the with gold. The, yeah. The past... Probably like two months. I've never really been into watches. Mm -hmm. But the past like couple months, I just went on like a binge and like uh, cool. interested in like buying what would I guess you call like your first proper like luxury one. Mm -hmm. Try it on, see what you think. Try this. 
It's nice with the Roman numerals as well. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I prefer this dial to the darker. I thought like the 41 might like, look big because I've got small, small yeah, wrists. I've, but I've got small wrists, but I wear 40 and a 41 and every day. So. I think the 36 would probably be. I, do you want me to pull a 36 out so you can see the, at see least the, see the, the size? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a 36 one. Yeah, that's palm a new palm dial. dial. Came out like last year. Quite a popular dial. Mm. But if you try it on, I think you'd be surprised. Like yeah, some... try it on and see what it's like. All well, it just depends what's comfortable on your wrist, really. Yeah. Oh, like that doesn't look out of yeah. place, but no, does a 41. Yeah. And there's certain dials you can only get in 36, certain ones exactly. you can only get yeah. in 41. So, so, so this one's one of the only ones that you can get with the 36. You can't get that in the 41. Mm. No, I think the 41 suited myself better. Mm -hmm. How much are these ones? So this is Euro Blue. I can do for 10,500. That's with box papers. They're all box and papers. Mm -hmm. And how much are the Sky Dollars going for? Uh, blue, mm -hmm. around 25k. So a lot more. Mm -hmm. Is it quite a spread though? Like, how much is a white dial one? White dial's like low 20s, black. I've just sold one for 18k. That was 2017. So it's not too far mm -hmm. off, but it is still quite a little bit more. Yeah. Well, especially for the blue dial. If you like yeah. the blue dial, it's, I do like it's the a blue lot dial. more. <laughs> But you nice. can always get something like this now, and then obviously this is your first mm -hmm. one, then you can always trade up. Mm -hmm. We can take it back in part X, and then mm -hmm. you can do a deal on this guy. Well. Yeah, obviously you can't get the two-tone with the blue dial. That's yeah. all, so you need to decide if you want a blue yeah. dial, it's going to be all steel. Mm -hmm. Unless you get like a 36 older one with a factory blue dial. Or two-tone is going to be like obviously black, white, Wimbledon, mm -hmm. along those lines. Have you got any green green dials? Yeah, the new mint green one. Yeah, we have one. So is that possible to have a look at that? Yeah, back in the window. So that's the new mint green dial. Oh, that's nice. And 41. Yeah, it's a really nice dial. It's been very popular. We've sold like probably mm -hmm. six or seven of those. It's been very popular. So that's pretty much it the spec that you'd want, Jubilee Flute. Mm -hmm. 14,950, that's up for. It's priced pretty much near on what the Wimbledon is. I think mm -hmm. it's kind of overtook it a little bit by mm -hmm. probably a thousand pound, but it's sitting around there now. There's just a lot less of those. In yeah, the exactly. At the moment. So yeah. obviously it's a newer watch, so the price is a little bit higher. It did inflate. When they first came out, they were like 17K. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they've dropped slightly now, but I think they'll probably sit around where the Wimbledon's are sat. Like the Wimbledon sat at above 13 for around like six to eight months, so it'll probably just sit around there, oh, nice. I think. I was just saying, what's your name, my name? Harry. Harry, I was just saying. You know, on the Rolex website, mm -hmm. the two-tone the yellow gold comes with like this fluted motif, I think it is, mm -hmm. the gold. I've never oh, seen one of those, no. though. Yeah. I've had a 36 mil one with like the blocks, like the mm -hmm. motif, but yeah. not the 41. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's something we can always locate if it's available, we can get it in for you, no problem. I like that. How much would this one be going for? Uh, 14.5, it yeah, can be, there. 2022 box and papers, it's up for 14.950. Mm -hmm. Alright, well I'm going to go and have a, a drink. Yeah, yeah, no problem man, that's fine. We're here 10 till 5. There you go man, that's my card, so just give me a shout. Right. Website's on there as well, so if you want to see that. Nice, one. Perfect. nice to meet you man. Nice to meet you man. Opened up on Acorn Road on our on our street. It's the Acropolis Greek restaurant. Let's check it out. <laughs> the wraps, the, the gyros yeah. wraps. I can speak a little bit of Greek actually. Kalimera, Kalispera, Kalinita. Yasas. Yasas is hale. I learned the Greek word the other day when I was Malaka. 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 That's a good one. A little bit of swearing. Yasu. 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 No, I didn't get any. Definitely not. There's the man there. Get, get me something. We were sitting having our lunch in the new Acropolis restaurant on Acorn Road next to our store. And I've just had a confirmation of a deal. Just sold the RM30 in titanium. What are you saying, Harry? It looks pretty banging, right? Pretty banging. So what you got? You got the chicken gyros meat, pit uh, chips, Dirty salad. Chips. Dirty chips. It's the boil. Pork that like? Hey. <laughs> So she's flew in all the way from Dubai to make a purchase. She chose a lovely little ladies day just the 26 mile. Champagne, diamond dial, steel and gold. Lovely watch. So your first Rolex. If you're changing the time regular, just make sure the wind dial is just like finger tight like that. Okay, because then you don't get any water inside that watch. Unscrew, two clicks for the time. So it's an automatic watch. So if you leave it off your wrist, something like this, maybe 
two days, then you'll have to readjust the time. So if you leave it on your wrist, take it off at night and put it back on it in the morning, the watch should be still in perfect time. Selling this 2022 white gold Daytona Oyster Flex. The Ghost? The Ghost, the nickname Ghost, so that's unworn, 2022 box and papers. Had a very good deal. <laughs> Very good deal, what was some it, would what argue. What was the deal with so, the Partex or? No, so you did bring your milk house, which we couldn't agree a price on, so we've gone with the outright purchase price of 38,000 for this piece. Do you want to do transfer? Yeah. 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 Hello, mate. Hello, uh, Basically, um, I'm buying a date just off you. Yeah. And with the finance. And basically, I was wait. I sent you £500 the other day to hold it. Mm hmm. Um, is it but what it is, I need £500 no, 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 no. to put towards the deposit on it, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, so I said it was sent on Saturday, but I've not got it back yet. Yes. Yeah, so approved. I've literally just waited. Yeah, yeah, it. it's, it's me, mate. It's Josh. So, yeah, so that was meant to be sent on Saturday. I've, I did send the details to our payment chat, and I was, yeah. I was informed that it was done, but. Let me double check now, then if it's not done, I'll get it sent now for you, mate, okay? So you can complete the purchase. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thanks, no mate. Worries, mate. Speak to you soon. Thank you very much, mate. Bye-bye. Hey, hey. You sent a deposit for the watch to complete the purchase on Monday, which is today. And basically, he just took it on the Saturday through finance, so he didn't wait till Monday. So we just need to send him his deposit back so he can put it towards the actual deposit off the watch. Right. Rather right. than just a holding deposit, no? Yeah, so this is the watch. Day just 41. 2017 model. Literally like brand new. This was a really cheap watch to be fair compared to others online. This sold for 10750 so With the diamond dot, right? the factory diamond, champagne diamond dial. So it was a 2017 model, hence the price difference between that and the black new one that we sold on the last episode. Got you. But yeah, lovely watch for the money anyway. Crazy Monday morning, stroke afternoon because of hard the postal strike Friday and Saturday so we're just going to quickly run through some of the watches that sold at the back end of last week and over the weekend some directly on the phone some via chrono 24 some directly from our website quite a few is actually going abroad and also a lot of packages of customers looking to sell watches where we send out the prepaid postal pack so I'll quickly run through what we've actually sold some gold pieces so we'll have a brand new root beer in rose gold that's going to a client in Italy. I've sold two yellow gold submariners, the 41 millimeters, two pieces, one, two. Something a little bit unusual. This is going to a private customer we bought off our website, at Jacob & Co, four time zone, with the diamond bezel. This one actually was sold to a dealer. This is a beautiful brand new yellow gold with factory diamond black Daytona, black dial Daytona. Then going from an expensive piece to something like this. A bimetal tag, chronograph with a date. This is going to a customer in Canada. I think the customer actually seen it on our website potentially. Bought it, I think it's around two grand, 1,950. And then we'll have this. Some case. Frank Muller that comes in a tremendous box. It's like a treasure chest. It is. Wow. It's the King Conquest in rose gold on the leather strap. This is going to a customer in the States. Look at the size of that. Is that 48? Yeah. 54 mil, I think. 54 uh, mil. King Cortez. Can you believe they make a smaller one? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the biggest watches known to man. I think he's a, a big guy because he actually asked the size of the strap as well just to make sure. <laughs> The watch fitted him. We've done a deal, and yeah, it's going off to the States, that one, so that's gonna go today. What else do I have? It's a small date, just 41. There's another watch here going to Germany, and another date, just two date, just going to Germany. This one's a part exchange. We're just actually waiting for the part exchange to arrive. It'll probably arrive tomorrow, but the watch is on hold for the guy now. It's the Seamaster Bond. He's brand new, that watch. So yeah, hectic day today. I have a lady who's just bought a Omega, via Chrono24, and Josh is just adjusting the links, so it fits that correctly. Madness. 